This is the Portfolio Rubric Guidance for Standard PK FLWC.4. To know and apply grade level phonics and word analysis skills when encoding words and to write legibly. We are focusing on B. Begin to print the distinctive features of letter forms, which include circles, lines, diagonals, and cross lines. For this standard, the teacher will assess the student's ability to print letters following the teacher's model. So when you are assessing this standard, the teacher will say a letter and then model on the student's paper how to print that letter. Then the student will write the letter next to the teacher's model on the paper. The student should be able to form the letter using circles, lines, diagonals, and cross lines to make the letter. You can use the letters we have here in the rubric B, K, L, O, P, T, V, W, X, or Y, but you could also choose to use your own letters. As long as the 10 letters that you use do include an example of the student being able to form a circle, a line, a diagonal, and a cross line in order to make the letter. The students are to follow the teacher's model, so letter reversals will not be considered correct. A suggested task, a way that you can assess this standard, would be to have a sheet of paper where you print the letter and then the student prints the letter right beside you. Students can print upper or lower case depending on what, which one the teacher models. Once the student is able to model and write each of the 26 letters, then you can move into assessing the kindergarten standard. In kindergarten, students are able to print letters without a teacher model. The teacher will say a sound and the student will write the letter that goes with that sound. To write legibly means no reversals. The teacher will continue to assess all 26 letters. A suggested task to assess the kindergarten standard, which is on the rubric at level six and seven, would be for the teacher to make a sound, such as M, mm, and then the student would write the letter M. Again, this could be capital or lowercase m. It also does not have to be on line paper. Because the score will not know what letter sound the teacher makes, a teacher answer key must be included with the student's writing. The required method of evidence for this standard when you are uploading the work, if they are doing the pre-K portion, which would fall in levels zero through five, the writing product should have the teacher's model and the student writing on it. If you are assessing and uploading the kindergarten standard at the level six and seven, you must include the student's writing product as well as the answer key so we know what letter the teachers made the sound for. Once you have your assessment, then you want to score the student work. The rubrics are used to score student work. So looking at the pre-K standard, if the student is not able to form any of the letters or the forms, which, in, which is a circle, a line, a diagonal, or a cross, then that is a score of a letter of a level zero. If the student is able to form a line when trying to make some of these letters, but they're not able to actually make the letter, that would be a score of a one. If the student was able to make some of the circles and the lines in the letter, but they still were not able to make the letter following the teacher model, that is the score of a level two. If the student was able to form at least five of the letters following that teacher's model, that scores a level three. If the student was able to form all 10 of the letters in the task following that teacher model, that is the score of a level four. Once a student is mastered up to a level four, where you have assessed 10 letters, then you can move into assessing all 26 letters. If the student is able to write at least 20 of those 26 letters legibly following that teacher model, that is the score of a level five. 
Once students have mastered this standard and scored at least a level five, then you can begin to assess the kindergarten standard. When assessing the kindergarten standard, there is no teacher model. Again, the teacher makes the letter sound and the student writes that letter. If the student is able to write at least 10 of those 26 letters correctly, when the teacher makes the sound, that is the score of a level six. If the student is able to write all 20 of the 26 letters, that is the score of a level seven.